Hey guys, nothingwire.com and Oppo India today released a smaller version of their very popular Oppo N1 here in India and this guy will be available very very shortly for a price of 26,990 but you might get it for slightly cheaper online or with your local vendor if you can strike a good deal now this is the box in which the Oppo N1 mini comes we're gonna show you what's in the box first you see it's a, it's a pretty compact box and nothing much on all side you have the um, pricing and import information here and there you can see MRP 26,990 of course that's the MRP so MOP would be slightly less and then again you might get some um, you know benefits online or, or with some other um, vendors then you have a 5 inch screen here HD resolution 1280 by 720 pixels you have a rotating 13 megapixel that um, carries the same feature from the Oppo N1 you have a 9.2 mm thickness it's not exactly a thin device and about 151 grams of weight now once you open the box here on top obviously you would see um, the Oppo N1 which you would find it's very very similar to the original N1 we'll come back to the device just in a bit first let's see what else are in the box now so you get this um, pin to open the SIM tray of course there's no micro SD card slot mind you this guy does not support extended storage so it comes with a 16 GB internal storage here in India you get the quick guide and then some important information guide and then you get a round pin wall adapter which is 1 ampere then you get a micro USB 2.0 USB cable and then you get this not very premium set of earphones and you know silver plated audio jack does not have a volume rocker but you have a call control and a mic here so that's about all the content of the box here now we'll come back to the phone so that's your Oppo N1 mini and again at the first glance it looks exactly like the Oppo N1 now this comes in a uh, three colors is the white version uh, it also comes in a very nice metallic uh, light greenish color and also a light yellowish color uh, although green and yellow are very um, bright colors but then you won't feel that because they give the phone a very subtle um, emission so that's like very subtle color on the back so it won't hurt your eyes basically but uh, the white is a more conventional one and then you see the 5 inch screen it's very very glossy attracts a lot of fingerprints there and then a very popular 13 MP rotating camera there along with an LED flash so one of the first cameras still now that has an LED flash even for a selfie basically because generally the front cameras of the phones do not come with an LED flash it's very important let's say in a party scene where it is dark and you want to uh, take a selfie but here because of the rotating camera the LED um, flash that actually situated on the back also can come to the front but not only front you can also click photos at various angles here and there I'm gonna show that to you when uh, we show you the interface anyway so obviously no front light because the back uh, no obviously no front camera because the back camera can rotate you have the your earpiece and notification LED lights and sensors and stuff you will also have your shortcut keys there you see menu button home and back button on the left side the power button below you have a noise cancelling mic your mouthpiece basically 3.5 mm jack micro usb 2.0 port and the speaker grill here you have your volume rocker and then your sim tray and on top there you see your another noise cancelling mic there oppo branding and that's pretty much about it so it's all plastic but the back has a very premium ceramic polycarbonate feeling to it it's very matte and white uh, gives you a very ceramic kind of a feeling however the green and the yellowish color uh, uses that metallic shine so they, they kind of looks more premium but then if you're more conventional one then you might go with the white one yeah let's check out the display so this guy has an uh, HD display a scale down from the original uh, Oppo N1 you can see a pretty much a similar home screen and if you look very closely here you would see the icon just kind of pixelated but uh, the screen is just about bright and sharp enough you can see the display kind of just oversaturated the red part here but rest of the colors the saturation and hue are just about right and you can see uh, it shows great detail here some of our sample images 
so the display is adequately bright and sharp the black are not exactly pitch black but again more than satisfactory let's check out a video here to see how the video looks on this screen so we have our sample video there and then when I go here you can see, you see it's pretty nice even the viewing angles are proper but because of the LCD screen the screen the display actually starts discoloring after about 75 degree of angle still satisfactory and very very good display so the Oppo N1 mini is powered by Android 4.3 and you have the latest version of um, Oppo's in-house color OS on top it's a very familiar unlock screen you go inside you get to the home screen you can add all kind of home screen here you can long press there to add your wallpapers and stuff that's your notification bar and then quick function toggle bar you can straight away go to the settings here your connection settings location settings you can add uh, these many accounts you can see and then your storage now this guy comes with 16 GB storage and does not support a micro SD card you can see uh, 3.69 GB occupied so you have about 11.3 GB we, uh, we have taken slight amount of space here for our apps and photos and all but still you get an idea about from you can see Android 4.3 Jelly Bean and model N5 triple one now because it's Jelly Bean Android 4.3 we checked and it does not support USB OTG function uh, some of the other quick settings you have your display settings and all those stuff and then uh, your app collection there not many apps so you have default Google apps like this ones and you also have many Oppo's in-house apps like um, you know your cameras and backup and restore lock now and all the stuff uh, these two uh, we've just installed uh, for test purposes you have your security services you see all those and then also some of the tools so lots of Oppo in-house apps so that um, for the most important tools for everyday tools you don't need to go to Play Store and download those Oppo provides them in-house and they're like most optimized for this device you have the dialer which is again pretty big and Oppo has maintained that greenish kind of a uh, color theme and then too you can see that's the keyboard and again keyboard becomes much bigger and more comfortable and that's your 13 MP camera and see so you have auto mode you have this other modes also yeah that's your flash settings and here you have video mode to record at a full HD 13 MP yeah see white balance and all the stuff and you can see you have some uh, shooting modes here so it records at ultra HD HDR mode beauty panorama and all those things also uh, records at slow shutter speed you know? which is good that's how you start recording take some time you can of course pause and then start again you can click snaps while recording videos and this is also quite fast you see it takes about half a second uh, this guy also clicks a very good 24 MP HD uh, mode picture where it combines six um, normal level pictures normal resolution pictures to make it a 24 megapixel big picture so that you get a lot of details in that picture so you're gonna check that when this device comes to our lab for full review but uh, just for your information apart from that you have your data monitor and all those stuff you have O cloud and also and now you have this O click here now unlike the Oppo N1 the Oppo N1 mini won't come with an O click so it's an optional accessory you'll have to pay extra if you want to get one so uh, let's go and check out playing subway surfer uh, it's quite smooth really 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 smooth So our initial impression of gaming is that it's very, very smooth. Of course, we'll have to uh, try it with some more demanding games, but as normal games, it would play um, quite effectively thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon um, 400 chip chat that comes with a quad-core 1.6 gig CPU and you have your uh, 2 GB RAM. Yeah. So that's about the user interface. quite fast and smooth for daily usage moderate to heavy but of course if you do a lot of multitasking then it might just lag 
just a bit because the color OS here is very very heavy and goes bone deep into Android Jelly Bean but then we really wished Oppo devices now come with KitKat because that gives a gives a lot of uh, added advantages for example one of those um, USB OTZ features that come with only KitKat where it can detect your um, micro USB pen drive or storage devices uh, another thing this a camera which absolutely love this once you click this the widgets starts and you can click photos from here you don't have to go to the main camera application and you see your photos coming like that so that's guys the oppo n1 a mini for 27,000. it looks slightly pricier but then it's a gorgeous device nonetheless 151 grams now it has come to uh, a proper weight oppo n1 was slightly on the heavy side even um, you know being a 5.9 inch device and the best thing about all Oppo N1 series the Oppo N1 and the Oppo N1 mini is mainly this rotating camera yeah. again one of those rare devices where you get a 13 MP you know I mean practically a 13 MP front camera and also with an LED flash that's a novelty that Oppo started still continuing it so in case you're a selfie freak and you want a very high-end device and you do not want the Oppo N1 that will mix, uh, make its present felt inside your pocket, the Oppo N1 Mini can be a very good choice. Now that's a quick overview but we're going to give you a much in-depth review when it comes to our lab for detailed review purpose. Thank you.